Tips and tricks can really help you save more time and learn PowerPoint. And while you're learning PowerPoint, utilizing tips and tricks can also save you more time. So make sure you watch this video till the very end to so learn all the PowerPoint tips and tricks that I learned throughout the time I was using PowerPoint. So the first one that I really saved me more time and I didn't even know it existed in the first place is actually to add was the fact that I wasn't utilizing ads on. So if you actually go home here, but before doing that, let me actually blank. If you actually go home, click on home here. And now we go to ads in and get ads in. And here is actually uh, just ads in. From here, you can actually add a lot of ads in that will really save you more time and uh, make your presentation look better. Now, the second tip is actually use the countdown uh, add in. So if you write here countdown, you can find here a lot of other options here. But the one that I used before, uh, there's so many other to choose from. And uh, I'll click on this one, show master, agree with uh, terms and conditions. You can read here, license terms and policy, privacy policy, and click on continue. And then here, we're going to have this, um, this counter down, this countdown uh, add-on and now here you see show master and you can create um intermediate slide or create into slide which means this one we can create a countdown now there's other options here uh you can also upgrade if you want more options but this one looks just good for me and from here now um there's other options as well so if you are you can actually go to home ads get ads in and another one that I used as well is this one just one second and also for this one here you can see uh, the you can change the theme the countdown the timeline fix until loop infinite uh, infinitely uh, content final scene and music so you also have options for this one but as I said as I showed you before there's actually more here to choose from and this one as well this is more simple continue and now it's loading you can here start reset enter the amount of minutes seconds and type you can also change your let's say breakfast and or drinking and you can add between your slides let's say you're presenting something and you'll you like your audience to take a break and you as well and you can create a second slide where you just have this break you can go start here and this is really nice uh, you all that's what you're gonna see and of course you can resize this so it covers the entire slide and for this one as well, I can uh, click on the other one. And of course, now this one, you can also change things here. You can also add logo here. You have more customization, but it's that's something you're going for and you like to add more customization. You can use this one or any other. So yeah, that's the second tip. Okay, now the next tip how to morph two shapes so just gonna add two shapes here so let's actually add this rectangle about here and now for the next one we're gonna add this circle but now the circle it's small if you want to have a circle like this hold shift actually let's make this triangle bigger now you'll see the magic. We have to go to home, select, selection pane. And here, what can we do is actually double click. And here you have to write to 
to two two question marks and morph so write two question marks and then morph and for the next uh, one for this one we still have uh, enabled the selection pane and now here just copy and paste morph Qu two question marks and morph and now what you have to do is actually go to transition add morph add uh, morph here and now if you press f5 you can actually preview and if you move you see this morph transition looks really really nice i really love this like this smoothness and this effect looks really nice and that's great when you try to create different effects you can apply this to to so many so many things all right so now let's move to the next step now the next tip is to create the perfect symmetrical shapes and because like when you click on insert you want to insert a shape and you go to here you have uh, different options to insert but let's say you'll actually like to insert some um, some shapes from here let's say I'll vol and now as you can see it's like stretched and I like I like to insert one that is perfectly a uh, sphere like this but you know it takes time to get this right and then it takes more time to uh, make this look uh, like it's a perfect uh, circle you know it's not squished like this it's not like pressed so what you have to do is to actually hold shift so hold shift when you're doing this and as you can see this will actually uh will actually lock in and even if you are let's say inserting a rectangle rectangle you know you see it is not but then if you doing this again you hold shift this will actually lock in and you have a perfect square and now let's move on to the next next um tip if you actually let me show you if you right click select format shape this actually saved me this tip please pay attention this tip saved me a lot of time if you go to fill here and here you have let's say no fill and we only want some line transparency 100 percent and about 10 width and let's change the color and maybe we will like some um what would can you add it maybe yeah maybe actually let's add some uh some uh, texture maybe and we like to apply the same effect to all of the other shapes so what can we do is actually press on the keyboard control shift c and then we actually what can we do is actually control shift v and uh that's now what's gonna do now when you actually select let's say I only want the shape control shift V now and it applied the same effect now another way is actually even fast is actually to select all of them or hold shift and then control shift V or another way is actually go to home here select and now this one that you want to copy the effects from and double click on format paint and now we can actually click on the shapes look how fast that is and how cool this effect is because it can save you a lot of time you have images you crop the images you know like to apply the same effects to the other images that you um uh, which you haven't uh, caught yet and you like to cut all the images uh, again but you, you don't have to do it manually you can just use this trick or this tip so i hope you learned something i hope this is something new for you and this is going to save you time now other thing i learned in powerpoint a great tip is actually that you can actually record uh, if you're in a home page uh, click on this actually tab and uh, this toolbar and here you can see record a screen recording so if you click on this now here you can record uh, you can enable or disable a record pointer 
Now you can record the audio, you can select the area that you wish to record, and you click on click on record now. You can click on record, as you can see, and now you can pause this. Now you have the recording on your screen, which is really nice. I can hear myself also, uh, which is, as I said, it's really great.